Hello, this is for day 137, a Bible in one year, our Bible text, 1 Chronicles chapters 1 to 3, and then John chapter 5, verses 25 to 47. So let's start with a prayer. Lord, we thank you for another day that you've given us. Thank you for the opportunity and the privilege. Thank you for all the lessons that you've allowed us to learn over the years. And help us, Lord, to be more faithful and more patient to your word. We pray that you would also forgive us our sins and that you would um, continue to guide us, give us wisdom. Um, in our daily lives, Lord, and we pray that you would provide for our needs, um, guide us, Lord, keep us safe, healthy, and protect us, and we pray also for the salvation of our lost loved ones. And as we read your word, um, we pray that you would enlighten us and help us understand the message. Thank you, Lord. These we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, First Chronicles chapter chapter 1. Oh. Generations. Chapter 1, Adam, Shet, Enosh, Kenan, Mahalalel, Jared, Henok, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, the sons of Japheth, Gomer, and Magog, and Madai, and Javan, and Jubal, and Meshech, and Therath, and the sons of Gomer, Akkenas, Ashkenas, and Repat, and Sorga, the Garma, and the sons of Javan, Elisha, Elisha and Tarshish, Kitim and Dujani, the sons of Ham, Cush and Mizraim, Put and Canaan, and the sons of Cush, Seba and Havila, and Sabda and Rema and Sabteca, and the sons of Rema, Sheba and Dedan. And Cush begot Nimrod, he began to be mighty upon the earth, and Mizraim begot Ludim and Ananim, Anamim, and Lehabim and Naphtuhim and Patrasim and Kashluhim, of whom came the Palestinians, and Kapturim. And Canaan begot Sidon, his firstborn, and Het, the Jebusite also, and the Amorite, and the Girgashite, and the Hevite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Arvadite, and the Samarite, and the Hematite, Hamatite. The sons of Shem, Elam, and Ashur, and Arvaxad, and Lud, and Aram, and Uz, and Hul, and Gether, and Meshach. And Arphaxad begat Shelah, and Shelah begat Eber, and unto Eber were born two sons, the name of the one was Peleg, because in his days the earth was divided, and his brother's name was Juktan. And Juktan begat Almadad, and Shalab, and Hazar Mavet, and Jara, Hazaram also, and Uzal, and Zikla, and Abel, and Abimael, and Sheba, and Ophir, and Havilah, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Juktan. Shem, Arphaxad, Shela, Eber, Peleg, Ru, Serug, Nahor, Terah, Abraham, the same is Abraham. The sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Ishmael, these are their generations, the firstborn of Ishmael, Nebaiot, then Kedar, and Abdel, Adbil, and Mibsam, Mishma, and Zuma, Masa, Hadad, and Zema, Jatur, Nafish, and Kedema, these are the sons of Ishmael. Now the sons of Keturah, Abraham, Abraham's concubine, Shebear, Zimran, and Jokshan, and Medan, and Midian, and Ish Ishbak, and Shua, and the sons of Jokshan, Sheba, and Dedan, and the sons of Midian, Epha, and Epher, and Hinoch, and Abijah, and Ilda. All these are the sons of Keturah. And Abraham begat Isaac, the sons of Isaac, Esau, and Israel, and the, the sons of Esau, Elipas, Reuel, and Jeush, and Jaalim, and Korah. The sons of Eliphaz, Saman and Umir, Omar, Safi, and Gatam, Canaz, and Timna, and Amalek. The sons of Reuel, Nehat, Zerah, Shema, and Miza, the sons of Seir, Lutan, and Shabal, and Sibion, and Ena, and Dishan, and Ezer, and Dishan. And the sons of Lutan, Huri, and Homam, and Timna, was Lutan's sister. The sons of Shabal, Elian, and Manihat, and Ebal, Shepi, and Onam, and the sons of Sibion, Aya and Ena, the sons of Ena, Dishon, and the sons of Dishon, Amram, and Ashban, and Itran, and Cheran, the sons of Ezer, Bilhan, and Zavan, and Jakan, the sons of Dishon, Uz, and Aaron. Now these are the kings that reigned in the land of Edom, before any king reigned over the children of Israel. Bela, the son of Beor, and the name of his city was Din Haba. And when Bela was dead, Jobab the son of Zerah of Bozrah reigned in his seed. And when Jobab was dead, Husham of the land of the Tamanites reigned in his seed. 
And when Husham was dead, Hedah, the son of Bedad, which smote Midianim, the field of Moab, reigned in his seed, and the name of his city was Avid. And when Hadad was dead, Samla of Masrekah reigned in his seed. And when Samla was dead, Shaul of Rehoboth with the river reigned in his seed. And when Shaul was dead, Baal Hanan the son of Akbor reigned in his seed. And when Baal Hanan was dead, Hadad reigned in his seed, and the name of his city was Pai. And his wife's name was Mehetabel, the daughter of Matra, the daughter of Mizahab. Hadad died also in the dukes of Edom, or Duke Timna, Duke Eliah, Duke Chetet, Duke Aholibama, Duke Ella, Duke Pinon, Duke Kenneth, Duke Taman, Duke Nebzar, Duke Magdiel, Duke Iram. These are the dukes of Edom. First Chronicles chapter 2. These are the sons of Israel, Reuben, Simon, Levi, sorry, Simeon, Levi, and Judah, Issachar, and Zebulon, Zan, Joseph, and Benjamin, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. The sons of Judah, Ur, and Onan, and Shelah, these tr which three were born unto him of the daughter of Shua the Canaanites, and Ir, the firstborn of Judah, was evil in the sight of the Lord, and he slew him. And Tamar, his daughter-in-law, bare him Paris and Sarah. All the sons of Judah were five. The sons of Paris, Hezron, and Hamul, and the sons of Sarah, Simri, and Ethan, and Haman, and Kalku, and Zara, five of them in all. And the sons of Karni, Achar, the troubler, troubler of Israel, who transgressed in the thing of hers. The sons of Ethan, Azariah. The sons also of Hezron that were born unto him, Jeremiah, and Ram, and Calubai. And Ram begat Aminadab, and Aminadab begat Nashon, prince of the children of Judah. And Nashon begat Salma, and Salma begat Boaz, and Boaz begat Obed. And Obed begot Jesse, and Jesse begot his firstborn, Eliab, and Aminadab the second, and Shimna the third, Nathaniel the fourth, Radai the fifth, Ozem the sixth, David the seventh. Whose sisters were Seruiah and Abigail, and the sons of Seruiah, Abishai, and Joab, and Asahel, three. And Abigail bare Amazah, and the father of Amazah was Jether the Ishmaelite. And Caleb the son of Hezron begot children of Azuba, his wife. And of Jeriot. Her sons are these, Jashur, Shobab, and Shobab, and Ardon. And when Azuba was dead, Caleb took unto him Aprat, which bare him Hur. And Hur begot Uri, and Uri begot Bezalel. And afterward Hezron went in to the daughter of Machir, the father of Gilead, whom he married when he was three score years old. And she bare him Sigob, and Sigob begot Jair, who had three and twenty cities in the land of Gilead, and he took Jashur and Aram, with the towns of Jair from them with Ganat, and the, sound, the towns thereof even three score cities. All these belonged to the sons of Machir, the father of Gilead. And after that Hezron was dead in Caleb, Eprata, then Abiah, Hezron's wife, bare him Ashur, the father of Tekoa. And the sons of Jeremiel, the firstborn of Hezron, were Ram, the firstborn, and Buna, and Oren, and Ozen, Ozem, and Ahijah. Jeremiel also had also another wife whose name was Etara. She was the mother of Onam. And the sons of Ram, the firstborn of Jeremiel, were Maas, and Jamin, and Iker. And the sons of Onam were Shammai, and Jada. And the sons of Shammai, Nadab, and Abishur. And the name of the wife of Abishur was Abihail, and she bare him Aban and Molid. And the sons of Nadab, Salad, and Apaim, but Salad died without children. And the sons of Ephim, Ishi, and the sons of Ishi, Sheshan, and the children of Sheshan, Alai. And the sons of Jada, the brother of Shammai, Jether, and Jonathan, and Jether died without children. And the sons of Jonathan, Pelet, and Zaza, these were the sons of Jeremiel. Now Shashan had no sons but daughters, and Shashan had a servant, an Egyptian, whose name was Jarha. And Shashan gave his daughter to Jarha, his servant, to wife, and she bare him Athai. And Athai begat Nathan, and Nathan begat Zabad, and Zabad begat Aplal. And Aplal begat Obed, and Obed begat Jehu. And Jehu begat Azariah, and Azariah begat Helus, and Helus begat El Eliasa, And Eliasa begat Sesamai, and Sesamai begat Shalom, and Shalom begat Jeremiah, and Jeremiah begat Elishama. Now the sons of Caleb, the brother of Jeremiel, were 
Mesha, his firstborn, which was the father of Sip, the son, and the sons of Maresha, the father of Hebron, and the sons of Hebron, Korah, and Zapua, and Rechem, and Shema. And Shema begat Rehem, the father of Jorkoa, and Rechem begat Shammai. And the son of Shammai was Maon, and Maon was the father of Betzor, and Epa, Caleb's concubine, bare Haran, and Moza, and Jesus. And Haran begat Jesus. And the sons of Jadai, Regem, and Got Jotam, and Geshen, and Pelet, and Epta, and Shab. Meika, Caleb's concubine, bare Sheber, and Serhana. She bare also Shab, the father of Madmana, Sheva, the father of Makbena, and the father of Gibeah, and the daughter of Caleb was Aksa. These were the sons of Caleb, the son of Hur, the firstborn of Eprata, Shobal, the father of Kerjat, Jerarim, Salma the father of Bethlehem, Harap the father of Bethgeder, Shobal the father of Kerjat Jerarim, had sons, Harue, and half of the Manahitites, and the families of Kerjat Jerarim, the Ithrites, and the Puhites, and the Shumatites, and the Mishrites, of them came the Zariatites, and the Ishtaolites. The sons of Salma, Bethlehem, and the Netophatites, and Tharat, the house of Joab, and half of the Mana. Manahitites and the Zorites, and the families of the scribes which dwelt at Jabez, the Teratites, the Shemnaiatites, and Zokatites, these are the Canaanites that came of Hamat, the father of the house of Rechab. First Chronicles chapter 3 Now these were the sons of David which were born unto him in Hebron, the firstborn Amnon of Ahinoam the Zephyrlites, the second Daniel of Abigail the Carmelites, the third Absalom, the son of Mesha, the daughter of Talmai, king of Geshur, the fourth Adonijah, the son of Haggit, the fifth Shapatiah of Abital, the sixth Ezraim, by Eglah his wife. These six were born unto him in Hebron, and there he reigned seven years and six months. And in Jerusalem he reigned thirty and three years. And these were born unto him in Jerusalem, Shimea, and Shobab, and Nathan, and Solomon, four, of Bathsheba, the daughter of Amiel, Ibar also, and Elishama, and Elipalet, and Naga, and Nepheg, and Jophia, and Elishama, and Eliada, Elipalet, nine. These were, all the, uh, these were all the sons of David, beside the sons of the concubines, and Tamar, their sister. And Solomon's son was Rehoboam, Abiyah his son, Asa his son, Jehoshaphat his son, Joram his son, Ahaziah his son, Joash his son. Amaziah his son, Azariah his son, Jotam his son, Ahaz his son, Hezekiah his son, Manasseh his son, Amon his son, Josiah his son. And the sons of Josiah were the firstborn Johanan, the second Jehoiakim, the third Zedekiah, the fourth Shalim. And the sons of Jehoiakim, Jeconiah his son, Zedekiah his son, and the sons of Jeconiah, Azir, Salatiel his son, Malkiram also, and Pedaiah. And Shanasar, Jechamiah, Hoshama, and Neba, Nedabiah. And the sons of Pedaiah were Serubabel and Shimei, and the sons of Serubabel, Mishulam, and Hananiah, and Shalemet, their sister, and Heshuba, and Ohel, and Berechiah, and Hesediah, Joshab, Hesed, five. And the sons of Hananiah, Pelatiah, and Josiah, the sons of Rephiah, the sons of Arnon, the sons of Abadiah, the sons of Shekaniah, and the sons of Shekaniah, Shemaiah, and the sons of Shemaiah, Hatush, and Egiel, and Baraya, and Neariah, and Shapat, six, and the sons of Neariah, Alianai, and Hezekiah, and Ezher, Ezrikam, three, and the sons of Alianai were Hodiah, and Eliashib, and Peliah, and Akub, and Johanan, and Zeliah, and Enani, seven. All right, that's a lot of names. So essentially, you've read um, all these things you've already read in the previous book. So it's kind of you know a summary of all the people from the very beginning and uh, up to you know this part of the book. Right? We've seen a lot of familiar names here. Okay, moving to John chapter five. Let's read verses twenty-five to forty-seven. 
Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. For as the Father had life in himself, so had he given to the Son to have life in himself, and had given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice, and shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. I can of mine own self do nothing, as I hear I judge, and my, ju my judgment is just, because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. If I bear witness to my, of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that beareth witness of me. And I know that the witness which he witnesseth of me is true. He sent unto John, and he bare witness unto the truth. But I receive not testimony from man, but these things I say, <clears throat> that ye might be saved. He was a burning and a shining light, and ye were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. But I have greater witness than that of John, for the works which the Father had given me to finish, the same works that I do, bear witness of me that the Father had sent me. And the Father himself, which has sent me, had borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. And ye have not his word abiding in you, for whom he has sent, him ye believe not. Search the scriptures, for in them you think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And you will not come to me that ye might have life. I receive not honor from men. But I know you, that ye may, that ye have not the love of God in you. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. How can ye believe which receive honor of one of another, and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For ye for had he believed Moses, he would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? Alright, we're done with the Bible reading for day 137 for the reflection, something to share. So, um, oh, it's what else I want to say. Um, in John chapter 5, 20, verse 25 to 47. So, you know, it's to be noted that there are really people who do not want to believe in the Lord or in Jesus Christ that he is in fact the Savior and that the Father sent him. Okay. Um, it's understandable, maybe, that some people would not believe, but for all the people who believe, they found, you know, something very great and something irreplaceable, and we all rejoice in being able to, you know, come to know the Lord and being in His grace, experiencing His love and everything that He's done for our lives. It's a very, um, is that exactly, you know, all roses and butterflies it's not always good sometimes you would also experience you know tribulations or uh, rebuke and some trials to test our faith to make us um, better to make us learn more but it's understandable as well right we know that it's for our own good and so you know some people they have that misconception that um they assume that you, if you are in Christ you would you know always be blessed and so when they see Christians going through trials as well just like them they think that you know is it really worth it you're just the same as us still but uh, you know those are just the things that the eyes can see but internally you know inside the hearts of the Christians um, they feel something that the others are not feeling or they understand something that the others could not understand so it's in that way it's really important that you know when you pray when you talk to god when you read the bible you pray for the holy spirit to guide you for you to understand what you're going through what you're experiencing what you are reading what you are saying all right so that's a nice reminder for all of us okay so that's it for this one. Again, this is the 137, a Bible in one year, and we've read First Chronicles chapters 1 to 3, and then John chapter 5, verses 25 to 47. Thank you, and God bless.